The clan have a perfect record in the Gardner Conference. They've won every game they've played. And they've won two here already this season. They're looking to make it three out of three tonight. Hook is chipped forward by the Stingrays, and Davis is off on chase. But he's beaten to it, and icing is called, and that will bring play into the Stingrays' end for the first time. Plan to turn the puck over, this is Kavanagh. And forward to Stefan Meyer. Here's Keith. drops it back to Meyer, trying to move into a shooting position, he does, the save is made, and the follow-up is not in! Unbelievably, that didn't cross the line! Can't believe the clan haven't scored from there, but play continues, and that shot is onto the back of the net, and it loops up and lands on the top of the net, and finally play is whistled dead. But let's take another look at that chance. Down in front of David Brown's goal, the save and the follow-up. Well, did that hit the post, or did that go in and come back out? The light did not come on. And the clan so close to scoring, after a minute of play, Stefan Meyer following in his own rebound. Let's take a look at that one again. Couldn't quite see on that look. He follows it in. And my word, that looks like it might have crossed the line. Happy to gain the red line and flip it over the back of the goal. Chased in the rebound. The boards are bouncy here at the Hull Arena. Meyer gets onto it and shoots into the glove. It's got behind Jones. And he's kept it out. But only just. It was into the glove and then it was dropped behind the pads. This one did not cross the line. And now here's Towner. Around the back of the net for Tanaka. Puck on the backhand. Now twisting onto the forehand. Trying to move out front, trying to get a shot away, and he has! And he's scored on the backhand! It's a beauty from Corey Tanaka! And it's the Stingrays who strike first. And so the Stingrays strike first in this game. And they might strike again here as Pasha's wrist shot is saved. And the follow-up is put in. It's Tanaka again. Big bounce off the pads of Jones and Tanaka was there. There's Chartrain. Lozon. Looks one way then the other. Tried to shoot from a very narrow angle, it hit Frank. Picked up, Jones doesn't know where it is and Davis has got it in! Jones lost sight of the puck and the Stingrays captain has made it 3-0. Face-off comes back the Stingrays way and I think the Stingrays will be happy to take this to the end of the period. Pasha needs to move the puck, can't just stay there forever. Tanaka will reach this one, he'll send it on goal and Jones saves and holds on and Fritsch is getting involved. A little bit of pushing and shoving, I think that's Meyer in there as well. Lozon waiting back on the blue line. Stingrays aren't able to win the draw. And Lozon not able to keep it in the zone. Could that be costly for the Stingrays? Lozon trying to put the pressure on Salters. Brown makes the save and knocks it to the corner. Then fired in from a very shallow angle. Brown makes the stop. And the Stingrays do get to the end of the first period with their three goal lead intact. Galbraith gets it out and then moves it on for Maya, who is, can he get round? He can, he shoots and he scores! Jordan Maya's got the goal! 4-0 Stingrays, how about this? Turcott with the hit on Kavanagh and then Salters comes in and Salters has ripped off the helmet and he wants to fight, and Jan Turcott doesn't. And that is going to be costly for Lee Salters. Turcott doesn't need to get involved at 4-0 in front. Salters trying to get his team sparked back into life. Turcott it was who put the initial hit in, which was clean. 
And he just ripped the helmet off and dropped the gloves. Turcott was having none of it. And with the scoreline being as it is, why should he? Here's Davis. Myers the option on the near side. Pasha, room to shoot. Goes for the slap pass. Davis and the save is made by Jones. And the follow-up was put into the post. There's another penalty coming on the clan here. It's a cross check. Oh my word, Stefan Meyer, he's not a happy man. James Kavanagh throws his arms out and says, what can I do? I've got to call it. And it's getting very, very crowded in the Greyhead clan penalty box. By Turcott. Strong play from Harper to keep Jameson away from the puck. Oh, and is that penalty going to be boarding? It is. Called by the referee behind the play. And then there's another penalty coming in here. Both referees have their hand in the air. And this will be for two separate incidents. The first one is, I'm sure, going to be a boarding call. And I have to say, I'm not sure what the second call is going to be. It was Kavanagh who called the original penalty. And then Perring, who saw some afters and raised his hand as well. We'll have to wait for this to get sorted out. At the moment, only the penalty box of the Brayhead clan is open. It looks as though Jan Turcott is going to head for a seat as well. Let's take another look at it. And that looks to be a fairly clear call with Jameson facing the boards. Harper can't make that hit when he sees the numbers. Certainly needs to minimise contact. So a two-minute call. And that's all that shows on the scoreboard at the moment. So there's a little bit of confusion here as penalty box is now empty and there's nothing being called on Harper. There's an interference call on Jan Turcott. And somehow that has turned into a clan power play. Well, I have to say, Tristan Harper is extremely lucky if he's got away with that. Kavan is waiting at the blue line. Here he is. Winds and shoots and that one goes over the top. It's into the glass. And then Davis has got himself caught up with Brown and Davis is going to be called here I think looks like it's going to be a goalie interference he's got support from Chartrain Tanaka keeps it himself and the save is made and the nets come off they can make the most of this Esders dispossessed as soon as he crossed the blue line and that's a nice reverse pass from Lowe's on to Tanaka Final few seconds, Tanaka tries to go for Chartrain and his wrist shot slides along the ice and wide and that will do it for the second period. But it's a period in which the Stingrays have added to their lead. Turcott down the boards and Tanaka is onto it. He's got lots of options trailing the play and scoring is Dominic Osman! the Stingrays with their first real attack of the period I've got a fifth goal close on I wasn't sure whether he was going to play tonight I'm feeling unwell didn't ice during much of the warm up but he's played very regularly in this game, lots of shifts, Clan are moving in, really dangerous and a goal, really well taken by Salters. Moves it around Brown, onto the forehand. And Lee Salters has a goal for Brayhead. Trying a little cheeky wrap around, Brown has got it covered. The Clan are piling in, Fitzgerald coming in from a long way out to have his say and now he's grabbing hold of Turcotte and the two of them will fall to the ice whistle had long since gone and 
just like it was with Salters earlier. I don't think Turcotte has any interest in having a fight at this stage. Again, he's had his helmet removed. And the Stingrays fans are really enjoying this. Clan fans still drumming away. They're making plenty of noise. Not with the night that they were hoping for. It looks as though both Turcotte and Fitzgerald will be having a seat. He looks to be in some trouble. Lowe's on with the shot. That was charged down. Fritch isn't happy. He lost his mouth guard for a while. Play continues. Galbraith shoots, and what a save that is. Oh, and now Davis and Stefan Meyer getting tangled up, and Galbraith comes in and tells him to clear off. This game's getting chippy. Clan aren't used to this. They haven't been on the wrong end of many games this season. And the officials retreat. And they're going to have a chat. And we'll see if anything gets called. I think it all came initially when Fritsch was unhappy that he thought he'd been hit in the face. His mouth guard appeared to pop out. He reached down, put it back in, and stayed in the game. But what a save in the middle of all that from Kyle Jones. He's made a couple of blinders in this period. And the Stingrays fans are really enjoying this. They haven't had a lot to share so far at home this season. They lost the first six games. The form has been better since. Looks as though a penalty is going to be called on the whole sting race. Two minutes has gone against them on the board, and it's Eric Galbraith who is heading into the penalty box. So we'll have some four on. Sorry, both on. We'll have some three on three hockey. On three. Maya. And the hit comes in from Salters. That was very late on Tanaka. Shah train. Brown's gone to the bench for the extra skater. It's four on three on the delay penalty. Chartrain, Meyer! Jordan Meyer on the delay penalty. Stefan Meyer is really unhappy. The Stingrays are absolutely delighted. He got absolutely everything into that shot it's as though it, the keeper may have got a little piece of it and Stefan Meyer is being called for a penalty I imagine this is going to be unsportsmanlike conduct and Meyer is not happy and if he's not careful he might be getting himself into even more trouble Paul Staniforth trying to keep him away and in fact, he's going to have to go back to the dressing room. And Stefan Meyer just needs to calm himself down. And I don't know whether you call that, but I don't think anyone caught his stick. And there's Salters. Only man to get on the scoreboard for the clan tonight. That was past Chilcott. Opportunity for the clan, and they've got one through Fitzgerald. Crashing the net and beating Brown. And the clan have made it 6 2. Clan come forward. Is there another late one available to them? They've lost the possession. The final 10 seconds are about to tick away. Sam Townick and. Just kill time, playing the puck back, and the Stingrays home crowd can cheer a great victory. Six goals to two. What a turnaround from last night. And the Greyhead clan have lost the conference game for the first time this season. Two more Gardner points for the Stingrays. And the home crowd will be going home very happy tonight.